What's up, everybody? We are taking a take a quick look at the Fission Crave. Uh, yes, that does look the same color combo as the Glow Crave, and I absolutely love it. Um, just to set up the video here on the first few throws, um, the weight's 173 on the white one, and I believe the yellowish, greenish one is 174, 175. Uh, I do apologize. I did not pick up a lighter weight one uh, to compare it to. Maybe in the future. Uh, so, mindset of this. And it set expectations. This is, I unboxed them and went right out to the field. These are legit. This is actually my very first throw with one ever. So that's how the video is going to progress. We're going to build trust with it. So just to set the expectation, uh, don't get turned off by the first couple throws you see. Uh, that basket way out there on the hill, that, that's just a reference point for me. That's out there about 450 to 500 feet. Uh, we're not trying to reach it. We just want to see some flights. Um, as I said there in the video, uh, I, I threw that one a little low, uh, not fully committing to the throw. Gave this one a little bit more, got a nice flight out of it, but watch how uh, aggressive it finishes at the end. we we'll have to remember that for later. Uh, here it is, the white one again. I get a little high, still got some turn to it, and then we get the fade at the end. For uh, comparison, this is the Hokum Crave. Uh, a little high, and we're going to get a little fade out of the end, but we're going to get a little turn out of the Hogan Crave. And then this is going to be a beat-up glow uh, Crave, and it's going to get a good amount of turn because, like I said, it's pretty beat in. But we're going to get a lot of distance with that with a little bit of fade at the end. You're kind of seeing a theme here. So I got my first few throws with them. I threw a couple off camera to kind of get a little more f familiar with it, so I decided to come on over here. This is actually an upshot on a par 4 at uh, my home course at UWF in Pensacola, Florida. Uh, the basket out there is sitting about 375. You see we have a road to our right. Uh, there's a football field up to the left. So I got to punch this fairway and I want to see it get to the basket. I really want to see it. And unfortunately, I just kind of sawed it off. Completely sawed it off, no trust, no commitment to that shot. I did not trust the disc at all. So that was the last time I didn't trust the disc on a backhand. I said, you know what? It's time to see what this disc can do. I need to rip this disc and just get over it and see how it flies. And it did not disappoint. That's 375, pinned it. Absolute hyzer flip, a little bit of late turn, and predictable fade at the end. But Rob, did you sidearm it? I'm a sidearm player. I'm a lefty. I want to see the disc go the opposite way. Okay, I got you guys, but you know what's going to happen on the first throw, right? Yeah, I'm not going to trust it. I'm just going to like saw it off into the woods over here because, you know, I don't know the disc yet. So let's actually commit to a sidearm and see what it does. Yes, it will sidearm. Uh, it will sidearm very well. Uh, this is actually surprisingly well. Uh, to give you another example, this is pushing at 3, 350 mark, where I'd be going to a Tesla. Not saying it's Tesla stable, but I have a very confident sidearm, and it holds that sidearm really well with me. Uh, so, yes, it will definitely sidearm. That is my quick look at the Fission Crave. I, again, I do apologize I didn't have a lighter weight. Uh, I will be uh, getting with my buddy. He's got a, a lighter weight it's coming soon, and we are going to take a look back at this in the full review. But I hope you guys enjoyed the quick look at the Fission Crave. In my opinion, uh, I now not have to worry so much about losing my Glow Crave because I know I can just go and grab a frizz Fission Crave and I have the shot back in my bag. So uh, what, do you, what do you guys think? You guys going to get one? Let me know in the comment section. As always, like, subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff. I'll see you guys in the next one when we look at the Neutron Jet.